Good morning, everyone. How are you? How was your uh, holiday? Can I say holiday? A holiday weekend? Labor Day weekend, wasn't it, or something? Memorial Day, that's it. Should I have known? All the Vietnam stuff hashes that old stuff back. Boy, I tell you, those were, those were times. Boy, I tell you. I have my own choice words for those things. All those boys and girls, my God, it was horrible. Now all the agent this and agent that, purple, orange. Anyway, detox is the only key there for these people as well because a lot of the uh, baby boomers that went to Nam, I was lucky I was stateside on an Air Force Base in uh, Indiana, Bacala Air Force Base. But I'll tell you, <laughs> I felt sorry. A lot of my friends were bomb sweepers and everything, and it was just like insane, you know. The government supplied the drugs. Uh, uh, it was, it's major. A lot of people have no clue. But anyway, how are you all lovely, beautiful, beautiful souls out there? Uh, it's been a wild weekend for me. I've got the first set of eyes uh, going to be on to you, out to you probably tomorrow or the next day. I um, was only able to do about 15 of them, so hang in there. I'll get them to you. <laughs> but between that and, uh, by the way, this weekend I birthed. I gave birth. Oh, that hurt. Uh, Six, count them, six new formulas. And these are butt kickers. I've been in my mind playing with these, and then I've been working through the last couple of years, and then uh, I just went into deep meditation and uh, got the formulas I needed. And man, I've got kidney number two, kidney number three. I'm redid by kidney number two, much more powerful. Kidney number three, butt kicker. Lymphatic five. I mean, yeah, lymphatic five. I think I'm going to have another six, too. So I have lymphatic five out. Going to have it out. Get this one. Uh, cell rejuvenator. Uh, I've got uh, two. Uh, uh, number one and number two. Cellular rejuvenator. Uh, number one, major, major. Uh, Suma, antler, uh, American ginseng, Siberian ginseng, um, that's going to have cat's claw. It's going to have all the big ones, all the major powerful uh, cell rebuilder. Uh, second number two is a, um, is a cell rebuilder, but focus predominantly on the endocrine glands because this is where we are all hurting is the endocrine gland. So uh, definitely got a, a thing for that. The baby formula, I now now understand exactly what how I'm going to have it. I worked all that out this weekend, so I should have the baby formula up and running here in the, in the next month or so. As now, now, now we have to make all these. And what else did I make there? Working on a new adrenal gland formula. Uh, gosh, I made so many formulas this week, it was like, oh, it's intense. When I'm into the formula designing, it's intense. I've just, uh, everybody leave and let me get into it. Anyway, uh, enough of that kind of crap, but uh, love to see you all and be with you all today. I hope you're all fine. Those that are suffering, please hang in there. It's all I've got to tell you. Uh, you'll be okay. Um... Anyway, I want to cover some of these. I hope I think Chris said all the videos were up, so that's good. Um, but I want to go and try to catch up on some of the questions and answers. And if I can get caught up, woohoo! You know, between everything, there's not a time to relax. It's an interesting question here. This is from to Fran. The questions he asked Dr. Morris. Um, who is this? Um, anyway, I don't know who this is from. First one, why is there no historical evidence for a raw vegan diet? You know what's interesting about that question? I'm going to flow with this other question. Why has every healthy society in human history eaten animal products? That was a very, very untrue statement. And I have to tell you, wherever you read that, you're misinformed. Actually, when you sit in my position where you have uh, hundreds of people literally about in every country on the planet, I, I have my own China study here. And uh, it's a good one because I really get to see, one, what your diet and your family's diet is doing to your genetics. Two... Uh, what it's doing to your health issues as a result of that. And three, out about a fruititarian detoxification diet, okay, uh, does to you whether you're in northern Alaska or you're down in Aruba. And I can tell you that 
the diet the diet and the herbs works unbelievable everywhere in this world everywhere so all I can tell you is that we have people all around the world on them and overcoming all their problems and so detoxification we're a species not not a blood type we're not all that we're a species and when we leave that kind of insanity behind trying to make everybody an individual it's kind of like all the laws all these countries are trying to pass and you just can't stop fatalities you can't stop man from killing himself just like you can't stop nature from killing each other can't stop it so you just you have to you can't get such so negative in society you have a law where nobody can breathe anymore and so I get to see all these things, like I said, and you really get to see a lot. By far, hands down, non-meat eater islanders, by far outlive everyone. I mean, there are some Russians that live long, but when you see, for the most part, you'll see the, the, the and the health behind it, not just the longevity, but the health behind it. It's one thing to be 100, 110. It's another thing to be healthy behind it. Good case in point, N.W. Walker. Now, here's a juice person. Don't know what his diet was like, you know. I mean, as you see, hard to maintain a, a total raw food diet, uh, especially when you come out of the bowels of our genetics and our, our cooked food and dead animal eating for generations. Hard to just suddenly go, whoop. That's okay. I just no. You, 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 all the conditioning, the mind, the emotion. There's a lot of levels that has to change to be able to change the physical level. It isn't just a physical change. There's all kinds of emotional states and mental states that have to correlate with this change. Or are you just going to hit it and drive it with the, the emotions until your emotions can't drive it anymore, and then you'll stop. So you have to make a, a, a psychic change where you get more you, you understand that the, the problem is the mind and its worlds. You could almost consider all creation the mind and its worlds and aspects of that. And that's the problem. That's the, the mind is that which enslaves you, not that which sets you free. You're as soul which sets you free and that's when you leave the mental worlds you now become totally free so this statement here to me is totally a false statement why has every healthy society in human history that is far from true and i mean really far from true it is proven actually the opposite that the meat eating meat eaters are the one that are the sickest uh, if you're saying that the epinephrine in meat gives you more energy, yeah, from a stimulation viewpoint, but not from a health viewpoint. Why is there no historical evidence of raw vegan diet? I don't know what to tell you about that. There's been uh, vegetarians and fruititarians on this planet for generations, and they have by far been the most healthiest people. Uh, you might not hear about it because they don't visit doctors. So you see what I'm saying? I mean, you... you I don't know what archives you're looking at, but I can tell you, both of these statements doesn't ring at all. I always wonder about these. You don't have to wonder anymore, dear one, because the, the second one, animal products, that is hugely, uh, that's kind of like this uh, man's living longer illusion. Man's not living longer. They're full of crap. You know, I just hate this lies and cares about It's time we actually start nailing ourselves down to truth and taking that hard, sour taste that it's going to give us. Okay. Had to get those two off of my mind. Oh, this is a beautiful sunset or sunrise, either one. This is M-I-K-K-E-L-G. Sounds like it, you were at my house, weren't you? You took a picture at my house uh, as the sun is setting. Sun could be rising because I like both. Thanks for all the great vids. Thank you, my friend. A question you mentioned that a fruitarian we need less sleep. Three hours is what you said in a video. Yeah, I got it. Maybe not even that. I mean, I was out of body a lot doing that. Now, I'd say up to about, um, well, since I, up to the point I poisoned myself, <laughs> uh, I, 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 if I got three, I was lucky. Just didn't need it, you know. After that, a neurotoxin really slammed my nervous system. I, I get probably four or five now. But um, uh, if I got a seven-hour sleep, whew, I'd feel like Rip Van Winkle, like I died and went to somewhere. 
here's my dilemma. We are tropical animals. We eat tropical fruits. In the tropics, there's 10 to 12 hours of darkness. Yuck. Uh, and we don't see in dark. Why would we need, want to be awake during this time? <laughs> you wouldn't. But that's too many hours to sleep, too. So I don't know what to tell you about that. I love, I'm, I'm always meditating at two, 2 in the morning. I don't mind the darkness at all. But you just, to me, I, I agree with seven, six to seven hours of sleep is plenty. If you feel like you're needing more than six or seven hours sleep, I suggest you got a real weak thyroid and adrenal glands. If you feel like you, some people get up more tired than they went to bed. And again, you're going right back to the adrenal glands, uh, low neural transmitters, and you really go low at night. So that really makes you want to sleep more. And then low thyroids can make you really tired out too, and not want to, you know, want to sleep more there. So in a healthy state, I'm just saying that you're, they're not going to be sleeping uh, 10 to 12 hours. And like I said, if you sleep six hours when you're a vitalist, uh, I, that's pretty good. But there's so much to do. Uh, for those that wake up to become a vitalist, you're not going to be in a retirement stage, hopefully. You're going to get out and start helping people to get well because remember the, the playground on this planet is very limited. And the play is limited to what you can experience. So why keep biding your time on a, a rock spinning through space that everybody is uh, kind of in a violent need? <laughs> I mean, I look around and this is such a violent planet. Here we go. Everybody's talking about how Syria just slaughtered a bunch of women and children. Well, we could talk about it. Let me see. Let's do some more sanctions and stuff. A civilized society we are, eh? Jesus Christ, honey. One guy. One dictator. Jesus. Someone up near him doesn't plop him in the head or something? What's going on? Why should we need one to wake during this time? And aren't we supposed to be uh, fruititarians? And therefore also sleep according to the cycle of the sun and the earth? Well, you could. You know, uh, when I was a total fruititarian, um, of course, I was an out-of-body traveler quite uh, uh, more then than I am now because... Uh, now it's not about traveling at all to me, but you know, there's a phase you go through, and so I enjoyed my night times in terms of that. But boy, I'm you're always up late and always up. I tried to go because I lived in the woods, no power, no nothing. Uh, but uh, I still didn't go to bed till later on, and I enjoyed peace and quiet. I read a lot. But you can only read so much. Um, so I don't know. You have to go with those cycles, however they work for you. Whether man can become totally a fruititarian or not, it's an interesting question. I preach it for detox because it's the only level you're going to be satisfied at. But how interesting is it at these levels that you can regenerate the brain and nerve? You can regenerate almost, literally everything. And at the same time, we can't maintain that level. Isn't that interesting? I don't know what to say. I was kind of been able to maintain it myself. But then look here where I'm at. You know, if I was down, maybe I was with Yaz in uh, um, uh, Thailand, that'd be a different story. Your surroundings play a big role in, of course, what and who you're with. <laughs> Plays a big role in what you can do and, and the influences on you. You know, that sort of thing. You know, you've got to consider a couple of things there. I don't know, you know, if you nail that down, some people, I think it's important that you consider this vital and that you head down this road. As you grow spiritually, God becomes more vital than diet. Doc, what is a, in the body controls the growth of the male reproductive system? Is there anything us men can do to enhance this growth? Can we recommend any good books on the adrenal glands? Boy, I wish I could recommend a good book on the adrenal gland. There's the adrenal fatigue, and I've read that one. I was like, eh, you know. All I can say is that all glands, all organs, all tissue is nothing but a cell and uh, our cells and two major fluids, the lymph fluids, the interstitial fluids, and you could categorize that fluid as the lymph fluids, a little water, a little lipid, of course, but you could just categorize it as the lymph fluids. And then you have your blood fluid, of course. You have other fluids that are aspects of those fluids, of course, no question. But if you kept it simple, the two major fluids of the human body is blood and lymph. 
and a lot of the other fluids get their texture from the lymph. You'll notice synovial fluids and other fluids are lipid base fluids, uh, eye fluids, and that's because again of the acid nature of chemistry and its effect upon cells. So uh, obviously the body has to have some lipid base fluids for protection there. Uh, the, uh, the testicles, of course, the gonads, uh, again, um, the endocrine gland formula for that, uh, the ovaries, but the pituitary and the hypothalamus area controls this, the whole body there. So having a good central nervous system, having a good pituitary is as important as having the gonads in a good shape. So getting the body healthy from head to toe is just is a systemic move, is a vital move because everything works together. Don't forget the colon and its relationship to the male organs. Remember that colon, that embryonic truck, so cleaning out the bowels, vital to getting health in the body. Um, uh, restoring kidney function and, and getting kidney filtration up so you can clean the body. All these things are vital for any condition, whether it is sexual impotence or whether it is uh, hyperactivity of anything. I don't care what it is. The basics of the human body must be observed. The gut must be cleaned. The embryonic trunk, the symbiotic relationship of that and all tissues. Then you go and you're going after the lymph, which filters all tissues. You're going to clean the blood. It'll clean on its own doing all that. And, and you're just going to clean up the human body. What, what, what more fun is that? So there's only a few organs and glands in there. Not a lot. So you just go in and you have fun with them. You use the herbs. Boy, I tell you, I got excited making those formulas. I, I'm crazy when I'm making formulas. And I tell you, I, I probably have 40 reference books and, uh, you know, and my own personal experiences, although I haven't had a lot with individual herbs because I'm a formula maker. And I like formulas better than single herbs. They work, they're more powerful. If you said anything, you can understand maybe a little why homeopathy works because when you get a synergist action of herbs, now they get more into the etheric side of these things, which is not understood by medical doctors hardly at all. But at the same time, I like a little more power up front. I like the botanicals. I really think that you can take those botanicals out too far. Many herbs, one to one, but you're you're blow drying them and reconstituting them, and so after several of these stages, you're going to lose the power of the herb. And I I think the raw power of the herb is close as you can get. That's a butt kicker, I'm telling you. So that's why I like strong formulas. But I wanted two more kidney formulas, and so someone sent me something on this uh, formula that uh, that has. Um, uh, astragalus uh, root in there for getting rid of sulfur and it was some formula medical doctor and he had ethanol in there it was like what so it was a horrible formula but but uh, we'll see how uh, a strag uh, asparagus root um, uh, affects on sulfur so I'll play with that you guys want to play with that go ahead uh, we're going to get some uh, uh, um, asparagus root in and see um, I know I keep thinking astragalus because I just love astragalus I, I, I love all these powerful herbs in nature you know but if we can find something like uh, asparagus root to help move sulfur out that would be cool that would be a good find I will admit it I have another medical doctor friend who just uh, hasn't found anything yet but again we don't we don't play with with all these different herbs we know what to look for because we have the eyes, we, have, we, we, we can see sulfur, we see it in the stool on a detox of ours. Sometimes it takes a while to break the sulfur loose. If we had something that would actually help to loosen and break this up quicker, that'd be cool. But it would also have to loosen and break up mucus quicker, which means that's the lymph system, so it'd be a good lymphatic herb. So we'll see. We'll keep playing. That's what this is all about. Once you get the basics and you know what's up, now it's a long road of getting people well, helping them, exchange ideas, uh, tell me what works, I'll tell you what works, uh, what I've seen not work, you know, those things. Uh, we, know what, we know the focus, we know the direction, we've got good formulas, we've got strong formulas, we're going to make stronger formulas, so we're all going good down that road. 
So it's just getting uh, getting people, uh, especially the most involved with some of these deeper cancers where the medical doctors destroyed billions of cells through chemo. This is why I made those two cell uh, rejuvenators because uh, uh, the damage that chemo and radiation does on cells, we got to help these people quicker and these are going to be powerful cellular proliferators or enhancers, strengtheners, rejuvenators, regenerators. But uh, I would get the prostate cleaned up. Uh, again, I talk about this, but get the prostate cleaned up. Get the kidneys filtering first. Get all these acids moving out, so all the inflammations out. Then you're going to have a better blood flow. All the glands are going to pick up. The testosterones are going to kick up. And see how that does. You can always move into the male herbs. There are so many. My male reproductive formula, real hot formula. Do recommend the hot herbs though when you're already hot. When you're full of acidosis, don't really pick up a lot of hot herbs because even in Chinese lore, we, we look at yin and yang, hot and cold, that sort of thing, acid base or alkaline, and you have to observe that a little bit. Even the medical community understands that a little bit. And you know what's ironic to me is that in oncology, we'll give Lupron for testosterone inhibiting, we'll give... Um, uh, Rumidex or um, uh, what was the other one for years, um, not the bone killing Fosamax, but another one that women took to suppress uh, the estrogens. We'll suppress the acid steroids, but we'll give an acid at least 50, no, no, at least probably 75 to 100 times hotter than those steroids. Is that, is, that, is that insanity? <laughs> I mean, is that crazy? And, and, and as a civilized society, we buy into that? As, as, as any university professor out there would buy into that and not shake the bush and say, what are you guys doing? Putting in an acid uh, 10 to 50 times hotter than the acids that are damaging the cells and you want to find remedy to that matrix? Holy crap. Those are real meat eaters, boy. They can't even think. This is F R N K N S N S. Amen. Uh, what a sweet piece of. Uh, oh, thanks. Thanks a lot for your thing. I appreciate that. Quick question. I'm growing a lot of herbs now. Oh, good. Yeah. You know, that's, I'm hoping supply and demand will get people excited about growing herbs and about uh, getting the food better. Oh, man. We could make a big difference, all of us working together as a team. Not antagonistic to each other as a team. I, I allow for your differences in thinking. It doesn't matter to me. You know, it's just whatever you find works. But I'd like to see this work uh, really get out there. And you guys are doing a great job. My sadness is with like Dr. Jensen, whose iridology work was insurmountable. It was just incredible. And yet they want to bury his work. You know, he should have never given it to his son. But, you know, who else? too much for us but uh, uh, you can see what's happened to that and it's like th this whole ridiculous concept of German iridology I, I was hoping that would die away years ago it doesn't it doesn't help uh, let me see uh, is it better to eat them raw or try to use them in a tea or try to tincture them well you can do all those different things I personally I, I, I see nature is raw so I think in the raw state, but boy, you have to be real careful in the raw state. Uh, just like raw foods, raw herbs are real butt kickers. The problem with it is right now you have a lot of cultivations between, let's say, July, June, July through, say, September, October. A lot of cultivating. But, well, in the middle of January, you can't have those herbs fresh. I mean, realistically, in a clinical stud, uh, work like this, where you have, you guys have your clinics, I have mine, we have them all around the world. Gotta have, gotta have a lot of herbs. That's the other problem we're gonna face is uh, while crafting the herbs. We're already facing that with a couple of them. Uh, Golden Seal was one, you know, that you almost we're almost losing that one. Uh, what was another one? Uh, not Lady Slipper, but um, oh. Um, Oh, there was another one that was almost, uh, you know, gone. Well, it's just a raw, try it, but I go small amounts uh, with a raw and see where you are on the raw. 
I always tease, you know, dry them, air dry them outside somewhere, you know, with a screen or something, and air dry them real uh, a slow, makes for strong tea, uh, and then you can always tincture them too. So all of those are all good things. But I'm so glad to see, sweetheart, that you're, uh, uh, Monica, that you're doing that and kicking butt there. I mean, uh, who's doing this one? That's not Monica. That's F-R-N-K-N-S-N-S. -N -S. But good work. This is Monica. Hi, dear. I have been trying to change the consciousness of people around me. Thought it would be easy. Thought I would, didn't you? I did, too. I know what you're up against, sweetheart. It's, that's why I'm doing this as opposed to putting on all these spiritual seminars, because... This is where people need it. This is where the gross change of consciousness needs to take place. You know, there's plenty of books out there, but this is where the gross consciousness needs to change. And their health is the big doorway to do that. Because a lot of the diets are keeping man down to the earth, keeping his head up his butt. I mean, it's just all kinds of problems with the kind of foods and vibrational uh, rates of the foods and things that we're eating. So, I know where you're at. But I'm not giving up. Don't give up, my dear, because uh, I know how important. Yeah, you're a good, you're a good lady. Good work, sweetheart. You're exactly in the the heat of it there, and this is the nature of it. It gets frustrating to spiritual people, but at the same time, get your sucre from the supreme being, or the, or God, whatever you wish to call that. Make that your sucre, that your joy, which is really you. Make yourself and your relationship with the all and with all things the sucre. That way you'll love all things the same. Someone comes up and needs help, then you'll give them help. You can change them a little. And you'll learn what words, the well, key words that you can drop because you won't be attached to the drama that's taking place, even in converse. That sometimes I forget that, you know, in conversation, I get trapped in that, in the dialectics and everything. And so uh, if you step back and become a channel, you'll know appropriately right when to interject things. And you always want to bring your friends into the now. You always want to get them to go beyond thought. Play with stop thinking. Play with observation. Uh, play with out-of-body travels. Uh, this is the real rush. If you're an adrenaline junkie, there's only so much you can do on the planet bar cutting your head off or slamming into a tree coming off a mountain. But out-of-body travel is the adventure of all adventures. should be exciting for a lot of people. And that, I think, needs to be a little bit of a focus as well. And let people see a whole new level of excitement and a level of play, if you will, uh, to creation that's out there, you know. But then again, there are those souls that are meant to be right where they are. They're here working off their karmas. They're here for the first time or very few incarnations enjoying the scenery. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, what is this? Is this a little bunny rabbit? Is that a little bunny rabbit? This is K8 Gate. Hi, Dr. Morris. Really appreciate your channel. Thank you for coming in there. I have taken uh, some uh, close-ups of my eyes, but don't uh, know how to attach them to your YouTube message. Are these them? We're definitely going to be working with more iridology here in the near future on this site. I'm getting caught up with your questions, and now I think you guys are settling in so you don't have as many. And uh, I, the, the uh, Facebook site's tearing up, helping all these people. Uh, and that's the point. Never lose sight of all this, uh, you know, uh, historical moves of uh, people eating meat. No, don't lose sight of the reality of the real question and the real issue here and that's the health and vitality of the individual we know what clinicals breed at least this level at least this level uh, you guys will probably take it out even better and clean some of these people up twice as fast but we need to be at least at this level because we are at this level so we need to be here and we need to bring our society to this level we can do that. We've accomplished a great deal for creation, I think. I don't know if these are your eyes. Mm, yeah, K8. Okay. Well, let's see, my dear. Uh, or my man, right? This is a male. 
uh, looks like I've got uh, a right and a left eye here. Okay, so as much as I can see in your right eye, K8, uh, I got uh, the eyelid down over and a glare at the top, but now I can see down. All those little orange dots all around the eye, it's either iodine or sulfur, one of the two. It doesn't look like sulfur, it looks more like iodine or some type of drug deposit. You got them all over the place. But it just shows that your lymph system is not moving well. You got a good strong constitution here. Right side, right kidney, no question. Right groin, uh, pancreatic, gallbladder. Want to get those in better shape. You don't get them healthy. Uh, a lot of congestion in the uh, chest area here and in this rib area here. Hard for me to see. It looks like you have a lower lobe lung weakness in there. Really hard to see though and you with the eyes you don't want to so I don't want to tell you but right down here in the lower ascending uh, right where the uh, the ileocecal valve is that's where you have weaknesses in the bowels that take up the gallbladder and the uh, pancreas. With that said, definitely got to get on your kidneys and adrenals, man. Uh, prostate's got a lot of lymph stuck in it. Uh, with that said, a little bit of a bladder weakness, and you pick up your lower back associated with the kidneys. Got a little mid-back going on as well, a little throat weakness as well, a lot of congestion in the throat and, and thyroid area here. Uh, skin could be, uh, improve a little bit for sure. Moving to the left eye, again, there's a lot of reflection there, so I'm kind of limited in what I can tell you. Um, I would say just uh, uh, just before the uh, mid portion of the uh, descending bowel, you have a weakness there, which is real close to the heart area. Could just be picking up bronch bronchial trunk, but there's a weakness in that area as there. Uh, got a knee. Looks like on the right on the left side. That's not real happy. Uh, got the adrenals. Kidney looks better on the left side than the right, but the, yeah, it's hard to say. It looks like your left side, though, is not filtering as good. You got, it looks like you got a lot more lymphatic issues on the left side than you do the right. With that said, you got a lot of inflammation in the prostate. Uh, here we got some bladder again. Better lower back, but still a little bit going on. Here we get into the throat area again. Hard to see above that. Um, you know, you need to clean your lungs out just a little bit, upper lobe of the left lung, you can clean that out. But you got good strong genes here. Uh, stomach is a little over acidic. But outside of that, uh, you got a pretty good strong body here, though. You're not moving length well. And where you got this iodine, it could be tripping up. This iodine deposit, by the way, it looks like iodine. It might be something else. Look like you're stuck in the parathyroid. Could give you a little hyper. Uh, parathyroid there. So I hope that answer. Let me see if we can go on here. I've uploaded them here, but understood you don't have the time to have a look. I gave you a look. Um, yeah, I don't I don't have time to go spin on sites and looking up because it just if I I'm gonna have to cut here in a minute anyway. Um, 52 uh, year old female. Oh female eh? Ah you didn't put any makeup on. You fooled me. I uh, have five healthy teens. Oh, wow. Older daughters. I stopped menstruating two years ago at 50. I was diagnosed with hep C five years ago. Well, your, your, your liver's in about a subacute stage, so you want to get in and strengthen that liver so those uh, viral loads don't take hold too much. Clean up the gallbladder. That's where you're the weakest there. And just clean that out. Get your lymph system cleaned out. That'll get rid of the viral load. The liver specialist I see here in... Uh, Paris, France wanted to put me on interferon. Oh yeah, that's a lot of fun, interferon. Oh yeah, common, common thing. Yeah, and I don't know why. It's a form of chemo in its own right. It's horrible. No one ever feels good on that. And that's not how you regenerate tissue anyway. After doing as much research as I could, I decided not. What a smart lady here. Uh, to uh, take it. You know, I like smart ladies like this. And of course, it has the bunny rabbit. Uh, I could decide that da, 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 my liver panels have improved over the past couple of years and are almost in the normal range. The AST, ALT, uh, GGT, etc. according to the uh, fibril scan and fibril test. I refuse a biopsy. Good woman. My liver shows m minimal and low medium fibrosis. Well, the thing is, is you can, the liver is a beautiful organ to regenerate, no question. But what breaks it down? Same thing that breaks down the pancreas, the same thing that breaks down the GI tract, the same thing that breaks down the kidneys, the same thing that breaks down the lungs, acids. 
and and that's the same thing so really you want to clean this gut because if you look real close in your gut wall you have a little interstitial lymphatic constipation not bad uh, so you want to get after that and get in the liver form is get the detox going get go down that road you'll clean all viral loads out you'll regenerate any liver that's needs regenerated Determined to extent of liver damage, two small neoplasms which discovered on my pack. See the pancreas, same way, two branches of the same tree. Clean the tree. Get that limp, get that GI tract cleaned up. Use the GI broom. Get get the lymphatic one capsules. Get the, the stomach and mouth. Start working that up. Get the kidneys going. Start moving this gigantic system. You'll clean the pancreas, clean the liver. You'll be in good shape there. We discovered on my pancreas, was determined by an IPMT. Introductory papillary mucus tumors. The doctor suggested a, a Whipple. I've heard that uh, procedure as a preventative measure. Once again, after research, <laughs> smart woman here. But honey, head off after this. I'll have him get this up this morning. I'm about out of time, but you whip on this, okay, uh, dear one? Uh, get your lymph. Go on a grape fast if you want. I do a 20-day grape fast. I'm going to pick up, get that lymph moving out of there, all your liver enzymes. But you do have some genetic weaknesses in the gallbladder and maybe just a tad in the liver, so you want to rebuild those tissues anyway. I eat no processed foods. Well, you want to go on a fruit uh, fruit and a berry and melon diet with maybe a salad at night at the very least and get t take care of this and get it done. You've been dealing with it too long. Watch your videos. I realize now that I have to cut out the carbohydrates and goat's, goat's cheese. Yeah, I live in France, remember? France, le France. I was in the south of France one time. What beautiful food. Oh, my God. The food was good. I had a wine. Uh, Mutt Lang bought a bottle of wine for everybody. I swear to God, I, I've never had anything like that. It had to be 20 20 to 50 grand just for the bottle. I mean, the, 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 the winemaker only makes 6 or 12 bottles a year. They handpick every grape. Handpick every grape. And then they auction them off. It's like, oh my God. But cheeses, oh, I never could stand the cheese table. Oh, no way. Yeah. Uh, any, any tips for you to be gratefully appreciated? Yes, South of French fruit. Load up on the fruit, suck them down, start going on a fruit, berry, and melon diet with a salad at night. Uh, and vive la France! Kick them butt, you know. But uh, you have to get your lymph moving. you got to do that. Get on a deep to get those herbs in there and start moving on that. Get this out of here. You're done. You're, you're a sweet soul hero. You're a smart lady. Get this all done and you'll be dancing in the moonlight tonight. I've been juicing vegetables over the past three years. Get to the fruit, dear. Uh, practicing Qigong, uh, spending a lot of time in nature, meditating. Well, I knew this was a good woman right off. Yep, I can tell. I am con uh, concerned about the chemicals used on the crops. No kidding. Well, you know, just all liver damagers here and wonder about the wisdom of walking there. Yeah, yeah, that's the wisdom of getting healthy, dear, and that's what you're doing. I get as many organic fruits and vegetables as I can, but sometimes it do what you can, but don't let that stop you. I feel pretty healthy all in all. I see an osteopath. Started seeing her for an injured ankle. That should be a good lady right there, osteopath. Keep on going once in a while. I've seen some butts as osteopaths, but then I've seen some very good people. Most of my friends are osteopaths. Uh, have some regular MDs, but I like osteopaths. <laughs> uh, I find it helpful in general overall, good feeling. Although I am a very strong person, I feel like I could use some more energy. You know, I take no medication. Da -da 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 Rishi turmeric, which removed inflammation I had in my right hip for two years. There you go. And see, there's your right hip. So it's your lymph system. Get after that, dear one. You got major genes here. You're going to have a real strong body here. And it's any advice? Absolutely, dear one. K8, take it off. Yeah, good genes here. Tap into it. Fix the kidneys. Get the lymph moving. And you're going to be kicking butt. I'm sorry. I don't have any time to finish up. Shoot, shoot, shoot. All right. But thank you all so much. I love you all. Hope, I hope this answers some of your questions. I hope to get to all these. Uh, keep hanging in there, guys. 
uh, you're doing very well. Kick it up another notch. And some of you, especially K8 here, kick it up and get on a fruit fast. Really clean that out. I'd get on the herbs again. Do that right on, on that protocol. Kidneys, go after the GI tract. Uh, go after the adrenal glands. You know, that's where you're feeling the fatigue. Clean that lymph system out. And that liver will come clean. The pancreas will come clean. Both of those will come clean. But I wouldn't mess around anymore. You're done messing around. Get the pedal to the metal, K8, and get those tumors out of that pancreas, okay? Very important, common tumors there, but uh, get them out before you start breaking down the tissue or you have to have more of a problem. I would definitely head up on a, uh, a great fast. So thank you so much for all your questions, and uh, hang in there, have fun today, and enjoy yourself, and enjoy the rock. And see ya. Love you all.